Howdy strangers, today we are going to build a goat milking stand. And if you need a bigger resume, I'll show you right now just what I'm capable of. I'm so capable, I installed my own air conditioning system. I did a little artistic design on which account from me dropping it six feet in the air uh, from a backhoe. But it works. And you know what they say, functionality over looks. We're using a 4x4 treated post today, this puppy, because this is going to be having direct wood to earth contact. And you use wood to earth contact treated posts so that they don't degrade or get termites. That is science. Are you recording? They say preparation is akin to perfection. And the way to do that in this case, I'm going to measure my goat. Based on these measurements, I find that my largest goat is roughly three feet in length from the neck back roughly two feet from his hoofs to his haunches. Because of that, I can now determine that the largest that I would possibly need the platform is roughly three feet, and I need the neck holder to be a minimum of two feet in height. Conveniently, and by no conspiratorial means, I have discovered that a four by four by eight is actually eight feet long. When we are using two foot increments, that gives us exactly four legs, which happens to be the amount of legs that we need. I've decided to make my legs two feet tall all the way around so that the goat's udders can be roughly three feet off the ground, which means that I could milk at roughly eye level because I have a bad back. Make your legs whatever length you feel like. Safety first. Right. So professional. What? So professional. So, with some science, I have deduced the four of these are the exact same length. So the exact width of the base I am choosing to be three feet and I'm also going to go three inches. Three feet and three inches is because two by fours which are supposed to be two foot in width is actually an inch and a half and you're going to see that overhang actually comes in handy in a moment. So the next boards, two boards I'm cutting at 32 inches, which for us uh, easier to understand folk like myself, it is two and a half feet. Exactly. And I will show you why in just a moment. <laughs> Done. And those match up well. I thought the slow-mo was cool, so I'm sharing it with you. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm raising them right. Here are our four legs, as well as the braces that we're gonna put around the base. And I'm starting off with the two and a half foot boards and I'm making them even on both sides of the legs. I'm also using two and a half inch self-tapping outdoor wood screws. And if you want a level table, you need to use a level. So the thought here is that this stand needs to be sturdy enough to hold up to 120 pound goats. 
Nubian goats can get to be about up to 120 pounds. Here you can see why I went with the three foot and three inches. It'll be three feet to here and then an inch and a half overhang on both end so that it doesn't look ugly. Oh, it's just an acorn. That's the base. This is about to be the top part. The goal is to make it so that you can sit in a chair on the side, reach in, and milk that goat. And science takes over from there. For quick reference, I did the exact same measurements and the exact same thing on the top that I did on the bottom. The only thing that I'm doing differently is cutting a board to fit right in the middle which should be two and a half feet just like the other boards on the outside so that we can have a joist to support the center of the weight whenever the goats are on it so that it's not a weak point. I had some rough sawn lumber that I picked up on a pallet about a year ago for a great price. So I'm using a couple of those one inch by nine inch pieces to create the base and the deck for the top of the stand. Don't you just love it when they help? It's so darn cute. I mean, come on, look at that. Thank you. It's time to test the standard of quality with a baby. Support it! Now we'll test with the weight of a five-year-old girl. Support it! Now I will test myself, and I weigh a whopping full eighth of a ton. Oh, if that can support me jumping on it, we're in business. We're an hour into this project, and it's getting dark, so we're moving to day two. Which is really just hour two. <gasps> that actually did hurt my back. Both of these boards I'm screwing into the ends are roughly two and a half feet tall to make sure that the animals have enough clearance standing up or leaning over. The very fancy design here, we went four screws on each side and all, and that is of course to ensure the stability of these boards for when the goat inevitably tries to pull out of it. And we are now going to reinforce, kind of, but a different way. After we put this faceplate board on, we're going to put a board on the very bottom, and you'll see why in just a moment. But first, I'm putting a faceplate on both the front and the back of the top. This is what it should look like at this point. At least, this is what mine looks like. If you come look over here, you shall see that I am basically creating a space in between this for these two boards. Meow. And now we have ourselves two independently moving boards. Which one of these I will actually be fascinate or fastening. I will probably stop this one from moving about here. All right, I'm going to fasten this one in. So I have this bolt here. This bolt I'm going to run through all of this. We're going to tighten it down. This way, this piece will be able to rock it back and forth. So we are testing the measurements here, the dimensions, to make sure that they are correct for our lovely animals, such as Buckaroonie. So now I know my pivot point That was all so I could get this bolt all the way through here. 
What kind of bolt is it? I have a four inch lag bolt. Well, it's four inches of uh, smooth. I don't know what you call it exactly. But that way I can make it through all of these boards, mia, and I could still be able to rotate. Now I'm making a quick little feeding trough out of four pieces of scrap two by four and a piece of scrap one by nine. And we're pretty much done. Somehow I lost a lot of the footage of me making this little stairway ramp, but I basically used some 2x4s with 45 degree angles, uh, connected them together, mounted them to there, and put a joist in between, and then threw 1x9s on top. Last step is to feed a goat in the stockade. I mean, I mean milking stand. Yeah, that's right. Come on, Buck. So I guess you could say it works. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Buckaroonie. <laughs>